Hey guys, so um, I am participating in the swap hosted by CraftyCake7, Gloria, here on YouTube. And this is the Tilda swap. Um, and actually there are two groups of um, swappers. One of the groups is doing um, the Tilda dolls using a Tilda pattern. And then the other group is doing a decor swap. And we were to make three items for our partners. And uh, my partner is Lisa, who is Hope Trust Bride here on YouTube. Hi, Lisa. Um, by the time she sees this, she'll have already have gotten her swap items in the mail. So I'm going to hold this video um, for posting until she does get them. So this is one of the three items that I made for her. Actually, it's two pieces, but it's one together um, because of the way I have to package it for shipping. So let me show you what I used. Um, these are Tilda napkins, you can see here. Um, these are Tilda napkins and you get 20 in a package. And I use this um, to cover the box that I'm going to show you um, using the napkin transfer technique. Uh, so you use an iron and use cling wrap to do that. It's a lot nicer than using Mod Podge because it doesn't wrinkle. Um, when you put Mod Podge down over the napkin, usually the napkin will wrinkle or tear. This doesn't do that because you're using cling wrap and a hot iron to melt it. So I use that. I also use these Amy Tangerine letters um, to spell out Lisa's name for the banner and also this one which I got at Target. I just used the little heart right here. Um, and I used these little pinwheels that you can get at Michael's in the dollar section for the sign. I used a pink and a white one. This is a purple. You get two in a pack for a dollar. Well, my dollar bins are still a dollar. Um, so um, that's some of what I used. And then, of course, for the swap, you have to use tilde paper if you're in the in the decor swap. So um, that's what I used. Um, and I'm going to show you a lot closer. <clears throat> what I've used, excuse me, what I've used for my items that I purchased or that I made for her. Um, so as you can see, I made a name sign using those rosettes. Um, and there's two of them here. And they're actually stuck to a styrofoam cube or, that I cut out. And um, the, the little banners have the stitching on them. And it spells out her name, Lisa. It actually says Lisa's. And then um, this little banner right here says Notions. And I'll show it to you closer, but I wanted you to see it, how it should be set up. Um, and she can move that position if she wants to. It's up to her. Um, so let me bring the project a little bit closer and show you detail of what it is. So as you can see, it's two pieces. So all I did was took the pinwheels and adhered them down. Uh, well put a um, bamboo skewer in there um, before gluing it shut uh, or gluing it closed so that it makes the pinwheel. And then um, I actually put some uh, trim around the bamboo skewer so you wouldn't be able to see it and then stuck that down into this cube of styrofoam that I covered with the napkin. So it stands on its own and she doesn't have to put it together with the box if she doesn't want to, because um, the actual piece that has the notions on it is a paper clip, which I alt paper clip, a clothespin, which I also altered. So you can see here, this is one of those um, Target um, clothespins that were cream, and I covered one side of it with um, some of the scrap paper that I had from the Tilda paper pad. And I don't know which pads these are all from. I know I used the Sewing Bird. I used Country Escape, I believe, and I know I used, I think, Winter Bird, Winter Bird, Winter something Winter, <laughs> one of the Christmas ones, um, but you can tell it's Christmas because it has a lot of roses in it. Um, so this is one of the uh, little clips that you got, or this is one of those boards that you got at Michael's, um, it's actually you know, natural color. And on the other side is a chalkboard. I covered the chalkboard with some of the, the paper from the Tilda stack. And um, I then um, made the banner. I actually um, took this from the scrap of um, 
one of the pieces that I had and you'll see it later um, but um, I stamped out the word notions here and these stamps are from Hero Arts they're little letter stamps that come in those little blocks and I used my Heidi Swap um, I don't even know what the color it is but the Heidi Swap ink for that and I made a stick pin here with a butterfly and it had the heart on the top and I used some translucent pearl trim some um, a resin flower with a metal piece behind it some seam binding and back you can't really see it very well but back behind it there's two small doilies and then here's another metal embellishment and then some more of the trim so this is the clothespin that I altered that says notions and it's just stuck to one of the cards that I made out of the tilde paper so that it holds it at the right height so <clears throat> Let me show you the box in detail, um, and let me see if I can do this well enough. <clears throat> I'm going to angle the camera down, and hopefully I don't make anybody dizzy. I apologize if I do. So with the box, this is just a regular um, box that I picked up at Ben Franklin um, while shopping. This is the medium-sized box. There's a large one and a small one. They all nest within each other. I put some of the Tim Holtz legs on it and so you can see here here is the napkin transferred to the box and it's not wrinkled it's very flat so I used the cling wrap and ironed um, ironed it onto the box the cling wrap is sandwiched between the napkin and the box and it's all the way around and then because you can see this napkin is actually a much brighter color right here it's much redder what I did was I whitewashed it with some gesso so I just added water to some gesso I had in a bottle and then whitewashed it with a paintbrush to make it a little bit lighter more pinkish than red <clears throat> I took three spools that I had excuse me these three spools actually come from the, the Michaels fibers with the pleated trims on them that um, came out recently um, that's what these spools are and I uh, took the fabric off and put some pink Rick Rack on here and the reason everything is pink is because Lisa said that she liked pink so I went with the pink theme um, and that was one of the requests that Gloria had she she asked us what our favorite color was so Lisa's favorite color is pink um, and so I used a lot of the elements from the sewing bird stack um, that jar is a um, die cut that's in the stack and it's a mason jar that says sewing bird and has like a um, old vintage sewing machine on it um, and then it's at the top of it it has some it has a flower and some twine twi tied around it um, you may not be able to see that detail let's see if it'll focus and then what I did was I went to town with the buttons see there's even a button that's kind of glued here and there this this um, measuring tape comes from the die cuts I wrapped it around the spools and when you look at it it appears like this set of spools is sitting in front of the box but really it's hot glued to the box so when you pick it up it's all one piece um, and you're I actually was tempted to take that because I was cleaning out my desk and I was like oh there's a stray button and I almost tried to pick it up but um, I took a whole bunch of the um, like mother of pearl buttons and glued them down to the top of the spools the spools are even stamped with um, a prima stamp that I have that's a button and also it's um, stamped onto tilde paper so I use the tilde paper all throughout this little die cut here says the sewing birds are loose and that again comes from the paper stack I crocheted three of the um, three of these hearts right here and it's come it comes from the yarn that um, Vicki gave me from Daiso it's like a boucle I think that's how you pronounce it um, yarn and it's super soft so there's three crocheted hearts here two here and then one on the card up there and some buttons that are also die cuts in the stack there's also a, a thread um, die cut here like a spool die cut and that's pretty much it for the front um, that I did and then for the cards on the inside <coughs> excuse me all of the cards I made myself these are um, cards made from 
the sewing bird paper. You can see here it's got that spool and it's got wings. And then I put some trim on here for her. This is from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And then this is a um, rosette that I got from Suha Fuha. And it's, it's just pinned down with this little tiny pearl um, pin. And then there's this card. Um, it has a vintage earring on it. Um, and then again, some more trim. Again, I made these um, cards. And then this third one here has even more trim. There's two different types on here. Well, no, there's one type on here. And it just happens to have sequins at the top of it. And it's also scalloped at the bottom. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. And then there's another of the um, crocheted hearts that I did for her. Um, uh, this is actually a vintage card here of buttons that I found at the thrift store. So these are some pink buttons that will be going to her. Um, and then I think here's another one. These are actually um, real mother of pearl buttons. Um, if you touch them, they're actually cold. Um, so you could see that the, they're really pretty. Um, <clears throat> and then this last um, vintage set of buttons is in here too. And I just left them on the cards because I thought it was kind of neat. You see it says 29 cents. The rest of the cards, I did make the items on them. Um, and some of these are buttons and some of them are badges because they're magnetic. And um, some of them are actually pins. So what I did was I took my um, button card from... Uh, paper tray ink and I stamped out vintage finds this one says cute as a button um, handmade is best and then there's a stamp that has little crosses and then I stickled the, the paper as well and then these are handmade um, fabric um, buttons and magnetic badges like the magnetic one you can just pull it off because it's just you know a magnet um, and then the rest of them are actually stuck here with a pop dot. So they're held to the card with a pop dot. And she can use these on her projects. Um, so here's one card. Some of these are fabric buttons and some of these are paper buttons. And I say buttons, but they're not all buttons. Some of them are um, badges and such. So this one has two. And there's one that's magnetic. And then there's a stamp here and a stamp here. And I believe... The color of the ink for this one, I don't remember which one I used. I think I might have used my um, Memento Brown ink for this. So there's another one. Here is a paper set of um, flare or whatever you want to call it. These are all made using the, I think the Corner Shop stack. I didn't mention that one earlier on the corner shop stack. Um, this has a cake on it. You can see how huge the cake is. It's a multi-tier. And then these are the same with some little pink flowers. And then this one um, actually says Livingston annual catalog of something. And it, this is from the paper, of course. So, and then of course this is tilde paper as well. And I stickled it. So that is another card and you can see one of them is magnetic. Um, here's another set of brads or buttons and this fabric is not tilde fabric I've ordered this fabric um, it's from free spirit I believe is the name of the brand and it's a Tanya Whalen design roll so you get these really long strips of fabric and I didn't need a whole bunch I just wanted to do a whole bunch of different um, style that matches the tilde paper I'm sorry I hit the camera um, and then, of course, this has a different stamp on it. It says Style, Vintage, Fine Quality Brand, and then Handmade is Best down here. Um, and again, I use my stickles for that. Um, two more here. This one has some paper, um, brads or buttons. And then um, what I've done with my, um, where, where I've used paper, I did a um, tutorial on this. I used the eye top to make these. And what's over the paper to make it glossy is cling wrap in case you're wondering it's not glossy accents it's it's cling wrap <laughs> and again this is designer paper from the tilde stack so it actually coordinates with one of the stacks um, this one's coming off let me adjust that um, so again these are more fabric buttons and brads and I'm pulling this one off because it's not in the right place but you could see this one's a pin 
So it's actually got a little piece. You can pin it to something. Um, so that's that one. And you can see the colors are pretty much what um, the tilde paper pads have, the, the same colors. Here's some more paper ones that I made. And I stickled all the way around the edge of this card. And then the last card is this one right here in the bottom. This again is more fabric from the Tanya Whalen design roll. You can see it's a lot of roses. The tilde stacks have a lot of roses in them. And this says cute as a button, handmade is best. So let me just give you a peek of the inside of the box. Um, I left it all natural. It's a really light color. And that kind of goes with the same kind of idea of the tilde stacks anyway. So that's why I didn't want to um, paint it. Um, I I gessoed the legs here, and these are the Tim Holtz legs, and then I went over it with some pink um, Viva Decor um, rub. So I also put some seam binding around the top of the box, two different colors of seam binding. So the box is just pretty much plain on the back. And then on the top um, edge, I put some of this really, really tine, tiny um, beaded trim. It's really narrow so that's what you're seeing there and then on the bottom I just have my handmade by so that is one of my three projects for um, Lisa and let me just put this over to the side so I can show you this the second one uh, I'll have to show the third one in a not a separate video I'll, I'll stitch this all together but um, the third one is back over there and it's just as big as this one so don't have room on my desk for it all um, let me just put the box back here okay so the second um, thing that I made for Lisa was this cupcake box and one of the paper the tilde paper stacks I think it's the corner shop has um, different um, shop windows and one of them is a bakery or a sweet shop. So I took the um, die cuts from that stack as well as this die cut here which says Cake Heaven, wonderful cakes for every occasion. And I backed it, uh, I um, popped it up um, and backed it onto another piece of the tilde paper. And I just mixed the stacks together because they all coordinate. I also put some seam binding around this box. And this is the box actually, these are um, these cupcakes are made with ice cream cups, and this is the box that they came in. You get 10 cups, and this is two of the 10. Um, so I made some flowers as the um, cupcake toppers, and this uses the tutorial that um, Tutu Amy put up. I just added a couple of different things onto the top of mine and on the bottom to make it more interesting. So I will pull the cupcakes out so I can show you what each one looks like and so this is the box um, without all the stuff in it and then on the back inside you can see that I, I stamped it with my um, information um, okay so this is the first cupcake and I'm not liking the way the lighting is coming down on this so let me see if I can show you a little bit better okay so this is the cupcake that I made, um, one of them, um, and it uses white tool, and the white tool actually has little polka dots in it, but you can't really tell now. Um, I stuck a big bling on top of it, and also some eyelash trim here on the top. And then um, the lid has uh, also some of this lace, or um, yeah, lace trim that I got from Suha Fuha and it's little hearts. Can you see that? And it's pink. And there's also a doily underneath it. The doily comes from the paper bag lady. You can barely see it, um, but that's the white pieces you're seeing, that's a doily. And I just backed it up to some more of the tilde paper um, as the top. And then I made the um, cupcake wrapper really out of some more tilde paper, just scored it every quarter of an inch and then hot glued it to the cup and there's stuff in the cup so here is my stamp the bottom 
These cups are actually white and pink, so I didn't really have to cover them, but I did. Um, and then I have some goodies down in here, and I actually went around the rim of the cupcake with some more um, trim that I got. And it's really pretty trim, and I don't remember where I bought it from. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's one of the cupcakes, and the other cupcake uses a different pattern paper. It's also tilde paper, and on this one, I use some of this heart trim that I believe is from Hobby Lobby, and then um, for the topper on this one, it's pink, and this tool actually happens to have glitter in it. This glitter was all over my desk when I did this, um, and it is also on top of a doily from the paper bag lady. And it also uses some uh, eyelash trim from Martha Stewart. And it has pink and um, silver glitter in it. And then I put a pearl down in the middle. A halfback pearl. So um, I've also included some goodies in this particular cupcake. So those are the two cupcakes. And that is the second project that I made for Lisa. And I will be back with the third one to show hey you. Hey guys, so this is the third project that I did for Lisa. It is a um, altered planter, really. And it's I made it into a mini candy station for Lisa because um, I thought it would be kind of cute to have something like this. Um, so what I have done is actually taken one of the planters that you can get at Ikea. It's made out of metal, and this one happens to be pink. They have different colors. Um, I think they have green and white. Um, and the last about inch and a half at the top is like this lacy um, pattern. And I didn't want to cover that up too much. So all I did was put some pearls, halfback pearls, and I alternated the size and color all the way around the outside. Um, the bottom part is actually just a solid pink. And so what I have done is I have taken the tilde design paper and I'll bring it closer here. And if you can see here, I have taken different, um, three different patterns and I've stitched them together with my sewing machi machine. Um, I don't sew very well, um, but I can sew a straight line. <laughs> so that's what I have done. You can see here the thread and it goes all the way around and it just um, alternates. So it looks like a patchwork. Okay, and then I purposely um, when the two pages met at one spot, the last page that I, or the last pa piece of paper that I had to sew together, I came up short on purpose. So what I had always planned on doing was um, making it like a corset. So what I've done is taken the pages, punched in holes, and put eyelets in. And you can see that. Um, and then I strung the eyelets through with um, the two different colors of seam binding and started at the bottom and ended at the top and then tied a bow and also put this artichoke charm in here and I put a little pink bobble at the bottom of this. Um, this is clear, this one right here. Um, and then I also put a Michael's rosette um, at the top of the bow. And then the last thing I did was add this um, sequin trim all the way around. It's in pink as well. And I thought it made it, you know, stand out a little bit. Again, I didn't want to cover that lace pattern. And as you saw, it's a really pretty pattern that goes all the way around the container. So um, I wanted the paper to really show. I didn't want to cover it up too much. And so she can see that, that that's that tilde pattern paper. And it's, of course, in the pink and cream, which I know she likes. And um, still got seam binding. And this little corset, um, you know, ribbing is really neat looking, too, I think, without being over, over the top. Um, so the other thing I've done is um, I've put this up so that I could raise it up and show it to you. But now that I've shown it to you, I can go down in and show you what's in the goodie basket. So as I said, this is kind of a mini um, candy station. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to ship it this way, but I will try as much as possible. And what I've decided to do is I've taken a photo of what it looks like now so that I can put the photo in there and she'll know how it was set up because she won't see the video because I won't post it until after she gets it. 
so that she'll know how it's all set up and she can put it all together and hopefully everything makes it in one piece. So there's actually two pieces of milk glass in here. There's a piece like this, which is a bowl and it's on a pedestal. And then there's this piece right here, which is also a bowl and it's on a pedestal. It's, it's a, it's a, a goblet, so to speak. Um, and so down in this, um, this piece of milk glass here, there is some trim that the bird is sitting on. And this is one of those Michael's birds and she can use it for one of her projects. There's some trim in there. There's some little flowers that Vicki had, um, given to me, um, really cute pink flowers with bling in it. Um, there's this feather, bunch of feather right here. Um, it's actually all attached together. Um, and then I have some flowers again that Vicki shared with me, um, from her trip to downtown LA. And this is some cream and some white. Um, in here are some doilies from the paper bag lady, um, different size doilies. Um, and then I put a flower in here that is a, um, silk flower from Michael's. Um, some more pink flowers here, some wheat sprays. This is some of the napkin that I used for the other box. And then I have some clothespins in here that I've gotten from Michael's. This one right here. Um, this clothespin is actually um, holding down a, a large linen doily. You can see it right here. Um, it's really pretty. I found this at the thrift store and I've had it for quite a while, but didn't know what I was going to do with it. So I thought, well, let's just include that as well. Here is another, um, paper clip, uh, paper clip, clothes pin that I altered and it was holding a uh, bag closed. Actually, it was just attached to a bag. And this one has a little bird on it. That's in pink. Um, that kind of ties the, um, sequin trim around the outside of the, the box to, um, the box, the container to the actual, um, you know, this color scheme. Um, and again, this has some sprays here from Michael's that I cut off, um, some more doilies, um, big flat back pearl, um, some seam binding. And again, I covered this with the tilde paper. Um, this is some pearl trim that I had too. Um, Ooh, I have to glue that down. That came loose. Um, but yeah, this is, a, um, just another clothespin she can use, um, for labeling stuff if she likes. Um, then I have a whole bunch of bags in here and I'm not going to open every, everything. Um, these are just some goodies for her, um, for her, uh, candy station that she can use for her crafting. And there's quite a few bags in here. Um, none of the, um, milk glass is attached. She can just pull it out. So if she just wants to use the milk glass and she can use the container for, um, other things like, I don't know, yarn or something like that. Um, there's some bags up here of goodies, um, for her to play with. Um, so yeah, that is my third piece in the decor swap. And I also have a card. So, um, where did I put it? Oh, one second. <clears throat> so I also went ahead and made her a card. Um, you know, with this um, tilde swap, everything had to have tilde paper in it for the decor swap. So I went ahead and used some of the scraps that I had to make a card for her. So here's the card. And this card um, is made using the Country Escape paper. Um, this is one of the patterns that was on one of the pages that I used and I didn't even touch this, this corner piece. So I decided to make it into a card. It's very sweet. Um, I think this, yeah, cause this is a toy scene from the corner shop. Oh, it's not country escape. It's the corner shop. Um, and the actual on the paper, it says we welcome all kids. And there's a little bunny rabbit inside of a little uh, vintage car. And then here I made that banner. Um, this is some leftover from the cupcakes that I made. I put some stickles on it and I made it into a banner. And these are some, um, Amy Tangerine thickers. Um, they're white, but they have a really, um, faint gray, um, wood grain in them. So it's a really nice match for this banner down here. And the banner is attached with some, um, double-sided foam tape. Um, this is some trim that I got at Michael's in the dollar bin. 
Uh, and then I had actually created a double bow and I didn't like the way it looked. So I cut the um, loops in it and I stuck a doily on top and then a piece of bling on top of that. And then I stickled the corners or this edge of it. It's attached to the base of the card is a white corrugated um, card stock that I had um, cut down. It was from a 12 by 12 piece. Um, and I used my Martha Stewart lacy punch to punch the border just on the two sides. So that's the outside of the card. And then um, this is the inside. And the inside is again another piece of the scrap paper that I had. And I don't recall what um, what line this is from. This is actually a piece that I used on the container I just showed you um, after cutting strips from it. And again, I stickled um, the roses throughout the paper. So that's what you're seeing that's shining. And then I used a uh, stamp from Diane Reevely. And it says, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. And I stamped that out with some of the, I think I used Heidi Swap on this one, um, archival ink. I think that's what I used. I'm not sure anymore. Oh, actually, this may be, I'm sorry, Stampin' Up. Um, so that is my card. Um, and on, then on the back, I just have my um, information. So this card is going out to Lisa as well. And Lisa, if you're watching, I hope you like the items I created for the swap. And Gloria, thank you for um, setting up the swap. I really had a lot of fun. And I hope to do more. Um, hopefully I can use some of the tilde paper to um, make myself something really nice as well. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. And if you have any questions or comments, Leave it down below and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.